Hi guys, Captain Infinite, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to basically set up a standard flight or just spawn anywhere on the map for Aerofly FS 2019. Now first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on location and here you can see that we are in America in which you get all of this uh, for free, all of these airports and then what you can do is you can turn the aircraft by placing your finger on the round circle you can position the aircraft by tapping on certain points or if you want to go straight to an airport what you can do is we're just going to go over to Zurich in Switzerland which is a paid app it's around 199 in uh, British pounds so it's, it's much better quality than America so what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on to the Zurich airport and now you'll see you've got the orange aircraft for landing, green for takeoff and white to spawn on a gate. So we're going to use the Learjet 45 for the straight spawn. and now you'll see that we're in the Learjet now to take off and just go then you could just go straight away and have no problems it's a great airport uh, Zurich is very well highly detailed and the, the aircrafts are really good I'm going to show you in a second how to do the navigation side if you wanted to use the FMC now for the FMC, the best aircraft to use for that is the Airbus A320. So what I'm going to do now is go on to navigation. Now if you click at the bottom where you see the aircraft looking like it's taking off, that will be where your departure airport is going to be from. So we're going to click on Zurich once we just cancel this. You're going to click on that bottom takeoff aircraft. Uh, take one six for takeoff and then it will plan the departure route out of the runway and then if you click on the triangle that will give you all your waypoints which will become visible so if we were going to Emmen we can then set up waypoints and then when we're ready for our departure airport we click the landing aircraft at the bottom next to the takeoff and we would click our runway 04 because it has an ILS which we can put the radio frequency into the aircraft so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the Airbus A320 and we're going to spawn down into the same gate that the Learjet was in but this time I'll show you on the FMC just briefly how it will make the flight more realistic so we're in the A320 cockpit and majority of everything on the FMC does work uh, you can change the takeoff shift or two shift uh, you can also go onto your flight plan which will show you all of your waypoints uh, stars etc when uh, you set them up in navigation you can also uh, change your V1, VR, V2 speeds, your trans altitude. Uh, you can pretty much change everything. As you can see what I'm doing here, just for example purposes, uh, to show you exactly what inputs you can put in. But there will be a more detailed video on that in the next tutorials coming up. You can change uh, your climb speeds, you can change your descent speeds, uh, approach, you can set up for config 3 or full, you can also change your V approach, uh, you can put in your trans flight, your winds, so it's, uh, it's the best aircraft to use if you're going to do flights properly as you don't really get the opportunity to use an FMC in the a380 and the jumbo you can also change your navs so you can put in your ILS frequency with your course uh, this has been done automatic sometimes it doesn't but as they say with runways uh, 23 is basically 230 or around that for your course so 
the runway name is basically the degrees that the runway is going in that direction. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments down below. And I'll see you very soon for the next tutorial.